Wait, let me back up a little bit. That's better. What's good, YouTube? Jabal back with Abdul Aesthetics. And it's been a while since I did a video like this because I've been focusing more so on getting healthy mind, body, and soul all in one. But for the most part, I really been focusing on my mind because my mind has been going through a lot of changes and a lot of situations. And I've touched on it, you know, previously in a lot of my videos. And big reason as to why I've been going through these changes is because of depression. Depression, anxiety, depersonalization, derealization, stress, all of these things uh, just happen and they all come down kind of like at once. And so, you know, I, I just try to deal with it the best I can. I can't honestly say that I'm completely done, but this video is basically just me bringing more awareness as to what depression really is. Because actually today, I had a mini bout. I'm actually at the point where I can actually gauge the severity of each time I'm depressed. Sometimes I'm depressed for a day. Sometimes I'm depressed for two days. Sometimes I'm depressed for a week. And I think the longest I've been depressed for was honestly a month long where I just didn't feel like doing anything. And um, today is one of those days where it lasted just a few hours. I was feeling a little down and it's really one of the triggers because depression in itself is operated off of triggers. Certain things tend to trigger how you feel. Certain things tend to trigger how you react. And in order for you to move you know forward with depression you have to understand what it is and why it happens and so what i propose is what the fuck is this man are you still in here talking about depression and anxiety and all that stuff how many times have i done told you though just don't be upset just get out of the mode like what is going on when are people like you going to realize depression anxiety it's not Real, just don't be that way. Oh shit! <clears throat> anyway, you gotta keep those type of people away from you. Back to what I was saying, you gotta keep people like that away from you because they tend to make your inner feelings worse. They tend to be triggers themselves because if someone doesn't understand what you're going through, it's one thing. But if they don't understand and they're not trying to understand, so they kind of make your situation worse, you need to separate yourself from those type of people. What I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted, you have to understand exactly where depression comes from. Depression literally comes from the inside. It comes from things that you haven't dealt with, things that you constantly try to pile on inside and internalize that you haven't dealt with and that is what I call the cap system. What I mean by cap system is everything in the universe outside of the universe itself has a cap. There's only so much you can take, there's only so much you can do, there's only so much miles you can put on your car before your car starts to break down. There's only so much anger you can hold on to before you snap. There's only so much, you know, food you can eat before you throw up. Well, you see what I'm saying? You, you get what I'm saying? The same thing, the same rules apply when it comes to depression. You have to deal with the depression because it's one of those things that you can't just put in the back of your mind and it'll go away. Because that's the reason why a lot of people are depressed today. They suffer from severe depression. And I've stated this before, I used to be one of those people who's like, oh man, Depression ain't a real thing, just don't be mad, just, just get out of it, just get out of the mode. And I was so ignorant to the fact until it came and I had to deal with it. And so that's what I'm saying now. You have to deal with it on the inside. I, I recently started counseling. Uh, I actually have a counseling session this week. I'm going to be going once every two weeks until we get this thing worked out. Because it's a lot of things that I and people like me have happened, you know, throughout our lives, throughout our adulthood, throughout our teenage years, uh, I'm sorry, teenage years and our childhoods that we don't talk about. And that is one of the major factors in one becoming depressed. So I just wanted to uh, make this quick video to kind of 
switch the tone from the funny videos. I know this video may not get a lot of, uh, you know, notoriety, but that's fine because people are so used to me putting out funny videos now, um, which I still am going to do. I just wanted to, you know, just gently touch on this subject right now, you know, but all in all, you know, if you suffer from depression, understand where it comes from. Understand what triggers your depression. It may be certain situations, it may be certain people, it may be certain things that you really don't want to do, but you have to do, like it may be a certain type of job, it may be a certain type of work, it may be a certain type of person that you associate with that doesn't really understand you, and it makes you feel some type of way, coupled with what has happened before in your life that you just haven't been trying to deal with personally. And it's just one of those things that you can't run away from. You can't, it is, literally trying to run away from your shadow you know your shadow is just as fast as you it's always gonna be that much faster than you and it's never gonna break its stride when you move it's gonna move you see what I'm saying see see how my shadow just like it just follows me everywhere I go you can't run away from it it's the same thing with depression you can't run away from it so you know that's it man make sure to like share comment subscribe stay tuned for more hilarious videos and until next time Deuce. I haven't done that in a real long time. In a real long while.